That's a nice clip from a German tank training film that was produced in occupied Poland in 1943. That Panzer III tank was shown to weigh 22 tons. It was armed with a 50 mm main cannon and it had two machine guns. It had a crew of five. If you'd like to see the complete first reel from that film, become a channel member at Patreon. Come and see. This footage fits in nicely with the second part of the series on the 3rd Panzer Group and more specifically the 12th Panzer Division during the invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941. If you haven't seen part 1, go back and take a look. During those first days, the Panzer Group's Panzer Divisions sliced through the Soviet lines. The only thing that seemed to slow them down much was their own logistical problems and the primitive Russian road network. The original plan had envisioned massive battles of annihilation taking place in the border region that would lead to a quick end of the war. If the Soviets were allowed to successfully retreat to the east, they might be able to regroup and organize an effective defense. Although things had gone well during the first few days of the attack, in the German High Command there was a lack of consensus regarding how to proceed and the decisions made would have a material effect on the outcome of the war. If you like the way I combine primary source materials to produce these videos, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Become a Patreon channel member. You won't be disappointed, I promise. As we talked about in part one in this series, all in all, June 22nd had gone well for Panzergruppe III. The only issues had been the logistical problems which had kept the 19th Panzer Division from advancing and the lack of adequate communications with the Luftwaffe units which would have allowed them to take full advantage of their air superiority. The armored spearheads were advancing through Soviet opposition as expected. You're looking at the situational map section of our website military1945.com which is a resource I rely heavily on when researching and producing these videos. If you click on June 22nd, the Eastern Front opens up for that date. The blue links by units lead to videos or groups of videos about that specific formation. Today we're dealing with the 12th Panzer Division, which was part of Panzergruppe III in Army Group Center. With the surprise attack, in close cooperation with the 18th Motorized Infantry Division, the 12th was ordered to penetrate a vulnerable area between two Soviet Army groupings. Here we can see an original German High Command document which designates the different corps and divisions to the 3rd Panzer Group for the Russian campaign. This HH logo stands for Hermann Hoth, the group's commander. This document was probably produced in early 1942 because that's when the name of the formation was changed from the 3rd Panzer Group to the 3rd Panzer Army. On page 8 of this report, we see the actions of the 12th Panzer Division for June 22nd of 1941. They were Vorstoss über die Grenze und über den Nehmann bei Merkin. When we click the yellow link next to the headquarters for the 3rd Panzer Group, we can see the order of battle for that formation. This is Colonel General Hermann Hoth. You can see all the elements that together made up the formation. Many of these divisions can be found in the situational map with links to videos on this channel. Go take a look. The 12th Panzer Division was part of the 57th Army Corps. It was equipped with eight of the light Panzer I's, 32 Panzer II's, 109 of the Czech-built Panzer 38T's, and 30 of the more modern Panzer IVs. On the evening of June 23rd, Hott had prepared the orders that would continue his Panzer divisions advancing to the east. He was only waiting for the expected confirmation from headquarters to issue them. 
for the following morning, after quickly taking Vilnius, the 20th and the 7th Panzer Divisions would advance towards Michalishki, and the 12th would move on Oshmiana. Here we see Major General Josef Harpa, the commander of the 12th Panzer Division, getting out of his command vehicle at a field headquarters during the first few days of Barbarossa. For General Hot, these prepared orders were simply following the original plan that seemed to be coming together rather nicely. Advancing generally towards Glebokia, they were outpacing the Soviet units that were attempting to retreat to the east. But the fact that there were large Soviet formations retreating east was disquieting to von Brockic, the commander-in-chief of the German Wehrmacht. It had been widely accepted that the Soviet units in the border region would stand and fight to the last man. This was the figurative rotten door that simply needed to be kicked in to bring down the entire house. Concerned that too many Soviet units might now escape, von Braukic decided to spring the trap and ordered the lead panzer divisions of the 3rd Panzer Group, after taking Vilnius, to attack to the southeast. The 12th Panzer Division was also diverted to the southeast, moving towards Minsk. General Hot tried to have the orders reversed, however the decision had been made. At the time, it was considered the more conservative course. There was concern that having the armor continue advancing east could result in them getting cut off and lost. On the other hand, General Guderian, who was in charge of Panzer Group II, believed that the advance east should continue and that they would cause havoc to the Soviet rear by disrupting supply lines. This would cause the Soviet formations positioned farther to the west to wither and die. As an interesting side note, it was the Soviet commissars that often forced the units to stay and fight, which at this stage in the war led to their complete annihilation. In order to be able to retreat and possibly survive, in some instances, these commissars were murdered by their own troops. As much as the Germans hated these commissars, much of what they did was unknowingly helping the German cause. This is a situational map that shows the positioning of the units on the evening of June 24th. The units of the 3rd Panzer Group have made quick progress and make up the left pincher of the envelopment maneuver. To the south, Guderian and his 2nd Panzer Group was also advancing towards Minsk and would be the right pincher. Thanks for watching and please remember to like the video 